What up guys, welcome back to Plark's Garage. This is gonna be episode for the week. And today we're gonna take a little bit of a little bit of a break from the 240 and we're gonna work on the daily. And I'm about to show you what the daily is. There she is. Bam! Look at that. Hell yeah. <laughs> Back from the dead. It's got a lot of work, so I'm gonna go change the oil and change this damn door handle that uh broke while I was gone. And uh yeah, this is gonna be the ride when um my 240 wants to act a little bit of a brat or something. But um yeah, we'll go ahead and change the oil. And Actually, I'm going to do both at the same time. So I'm going to do door handle. Well, I'm doing the oil. Then I'm going to do the door handle while the oil is draining. All right. So, uh, yeah. Let's go see what we got under the hood of this 2004 Chevy Aveo. If you, oh, my God. Look at this freaking engine. Shit. This is what I want to deal with. But, shit, it works. It works. Fuck it. remember i said uh my last video that i ordered a lot from rock auto guess what i also got from rock auto a door handle it was actually black it wasn't painted and i painted it white to somewhat match the awesome paint of this avail painted with some rust oleum spray paint gloss white um yeah we're gonna go put this on while the oil is draining and yeah enjoy the time lapse All right, needle handle is in. It's hot as hell, but uh, yeah, kind of fucked up earlier. I knocked one of the rods off alignment, so I couldn't open the door on the inside. Well, uh, that's fixed now, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish changing the oil, and then uh, yeah, basically it for today. Shit. All right, so many of you are probably wondering why. Why an Aveo? Why a shit 2004 Chevy Aveo for a daily ride? So, what I tried to do was to try to keep the 240 my S14 as a, as a uh, daily ride, daily driver. However, in recent years, especially when I turboed, when I boosted the car, um, it hasn't become as reliable or it hasn't stayed as reliable as I wanted it to be. So, this Aveo actually has some history to it. So this actually was my very first car. Kind of sad, but this was the very first car that I started driving back in high school. Um, and shit, I needed a car that's going to be able to take me from point A to point B without worrying about it breaking down. And yeah, yesterday, so I took my 240 out on a pretty long drive and it did pretty well until I decided to take it on my little run this morning where it took me about 45 minutes to get to one place when it should have only taken me 10 so um, yeah I actually got my wife a brand new car so that's her car which is actually our, also our family car I don't, I'm not in a budget to get a decent or a nice, cool little daily ride like some people do. Uh, and the Veil is actually not being used at the time since my parents both got different cars. So I said, fuck it. Why not take the Veil, get it back to some kind of driving condition, and let's use it as a back car or a daily driver. Here we are driving the veil. It's not to say, it sucks to say because I'd rather be driving my 240 as a daily because it, you know, makes me know that my car is still drivable and lets me know if there's any issues. But with what's been going on the past two, three weeks with my 240, I needed another, another way to 
be transported and get from point A to point B. So that's basically the reason why I got or I'm using this this Chevy Aveo as a daily ride, at least for now. Daily slash backup if my 240 wants to be a little bit bi bipolar and not run right, then shit, I got this car to fucking to use to get to work or to, to run errands like I'm doing right now. So, but yeah, Bayo, <laughs> could have dunk it, be back in this car using it. Um, that's all I got for this video. And see you next video. Alright, so stay safe, wash your hands, subscribe. Peace out.